How are we feeling for this build? Very good. Very confident. Um, full health. And I had a little snafu there after Falmouth Road Race. I sent it a little too hard. But we got on, back on track like very quickly. So that's the only thing about this entire build up though that I've had. And so it's gone perfectly over the So fitness has it compared to, I know, you are a geek of the with the data when it comes to Joe, and I asked you before Boston, but what is the data saying for this one? Um, we are like 218, 219 for sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like that, that kind of realm is definitely in the cards still. And again, I keep saying that, and it hasn't happened yet, but, you know, we've hit Boston, which like isn't a super fast course. We've hit it on a hot day, and then last year with Chicago, you know, like planner and stuff like that. So it's really just hitting it on the right day, and like having the stars on it. So hopefully that'll be us today. But um, I don't really care if it's a 218, 219, even if it's a 220. As long as I'm PRing, as long as I'm improving, that's kind of where we're at. So what's in the actual workouts, like what was going much better that signals all of that? Um, I have been doing like mile repeats much quicker, much easier. Everything just feels like it's coming along a lot easier than it has in the past. And I think that's um, just all the strength that I've built up throughout the injury process and kind of coming back. That it like tweaking those little things really like amounted to just feeling a lot better and just feeling a lot more relaxed in a lot of my, my workouts and movements. So ideally, I know that, like there's still time before like the technical meeting and I think like Kira and Centra are still kind of figuring out what the pace is going to be there. What do you what do you desire? I I hate paces and I hate pace groups like pacers are amazing like I'm so glad that they're out there and doing their thing but I hate being so like tied to a time that I don't know if I'll actually be going with any pace groups if it's windy I want to obviously like try to you know uh, draft as much as possible which I'm not very good at a lot of people know that and a lot of people have a lot to say about that <laughs> but I'm going to try my best if it is windy to like be behind somebody but I don't know where that is going and I don't think 69, I think is what Kira and Matt are going at it, really makes sense. I like to either negative split or even split as much as possible. And I think going out at 69, which is like a huge PR in the half marathon for me, um, doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I think I'm going to go out a little bit more conservative than that. I don't know what that means, um, but I definitely want to like reel people in as much as possible in that second half. And I, I like Chicago because everybody kind of goes after a time and it's really exciting and the records go down and everything like that but I like to race um, racing is like just it feels good to me to like kind of like go off of like you know just trying to place well and be at the top of the, the marathon game um, but Chicago's different it's like you just kind of got to do your own thing at a certain level so you had Dom, you have Dom I guess like for this build up but for the most part like on those long runs, especially when the pace does start to get, you know, pretty quick, are you just rolling solo for, like, a lot of the second half of that stuff? Yeah, honestly, like, Dom and I haven't done a single workout together. Okay. Like, we kind of do our own thing, and we have very different strengths, and so I honestly thrive in isolation. I like being by myself. I like to push myself. I like to listen to my body and, like, really key off of, like, how I'm feeling and go from there. So I know that I can push myself when push comes to shove if I'm by myself. Um, but Chicago has so many guys out there like we all start at the same time so I feel like there's always something that you kind of strive for and like look after and like there's people in front of you so there's different like tricks and things and games that I kind of play with myself to like make it seem like I'm not by myself but you said at the main press conference you were super proud of the race last year and fighting through that pain <laughs> I mean, you are an incredibly tough runner. Like some of your runs in Boston have been inspiring. But do you have any regrets? Like, if you, if you had stopped, would you have been able to run the trials? Do we know, like, how that, did that damage I, th it? I think, honestly, the damage had been done. So I don't think um, toughing it out and finishing would have... Um, I don't I don't think it would have made a difference either way. So that's, that's the thing. And, I mean, a lot of people, like, don't realize that, like, you know, um, this is how we make a living. It's like showing up to these races. We have kids, and it's like, you're docked, like, you know, 50% if you don't finish. It's like I need to finish this race so that you know my my house at the time like was filled with asbestos. So like there was so much like payments and financial stuff burdens that like I had to think about. And so like you're thinking about that and thinking about that in the moment. I wasn't thinking so much about you know the trials and like not being ready for it. But I I really believe that I could get back you know in time for the trials. And so that was the only 
thing that was like a bummer was like, not being able to like, you know, get the most out of myself and kind of get to the starting line. But no, I don't think I would have changed anything. Um, just because, you know, I, I want to finish the race. I don't want to DNF anything. I don't want to like go out there and not do it if I, if I can. And I could. And I, I, I did finish and it hurt like hell, but um, I did it and I'm very proud of myself. Thank you. Thank you guys.